Hey, this is MassX with a new One Punch Man The Strongest video. And if you didn't know this, they accidentally leaked that a new update to the game is coming out. It was on the initial event calendar for this week, but it was taken off. It is supposed to be next week. And you can kind of confirm that by what came up in the notes today. The server merge notice has shown up showing that a merge is going to happen on February 28th. Similar to before, don't need to re-go through this, but there's only seven groups of servers affected this time around, and it's basically, you can see from servers four and five, 74, 75, et cetera, et cetera. So they are doing some more mergers, which is good and bad. Good because it increases the activity, bad because it seems like people are bailing out because of some of the issues going on with this current, how should I put this, development team who does not seem to want to make adjustments for purposes of global, but I'm not going to digress into that. Let's talk about what's going to be happening though. Again, none of this has been confirmed, but this is what appears to be happening now over the, the when this new update occurs and what we'll be getting the most i should say i'm going to hit the highlights so first let's discuss something that was released and that was back a few weeks ago they stated that in the next update we can see um, some changes in the game that would include damage statistics lc speed boost issue the tournament final schedule, which appears now is going to change again. Oh boy. Um, you can still challenge the club boss after it's defeated, which I actually think is brilliant because some people just aren't paying attention. And fix some bugs according to our server feedback, yada, yada, yada. Nothing major there except for the tournament final schedule possibly changing again. Let's hope it's for the better. But the things that sh there's two major things that should be coming in and let's talk about those. First off is Peak Arena. And yes, what you're seeing back there is not One Punch Man the strongest, but just in true Gree fashion, everything is always recycled if you've played their games. And I was a prior player of Bleach Immortal Soul. And basically what they called World Championships is basically Peak Arena in One Punch Man the Strongest. So what is it? Basically you are going to climb up the mountain or whatever you want to call it to get to the peak. And peak is number one as they call it. And it is a little different than how they did it in Bleach Immortal Souls. Um, they split it off between hero and monster teams. It's only one team, we're in World Championships, it's six teams, and it's not split by any type. But the essence is the same. You just go up, you get your rewards, there'll be a shop where you can get more things that you can purchase with the currency you get from this. It's pretty straightforward. You can get a fair amount of diamonds in it, so it's something that's not gonna be too difficult for anybody if they've been playing this game. You're just going to have to just go. And they limit it, both the Bleach Immortal Souls as well as the One Punch Man, the strongest, strongest, limited as you go up. So there's only a certain amount you can jump, of course. So they're going to try to make you spend your resources to go farther quicker, just like any gotcha. No surprise there. But this is nice because you are going to be able to acquire currency, your diamonds, the, you know, it will be nice for that. But is it groundbreaking? Probably not, okay? Uh, yeah, it, but it is a different game mode. It can be fun. It's usually mixed with other servers, which makes it fun. We'll see how Global initializes this and releases it for us. But again, in the end, good way to get yourself some currency and some other things. Now the next item that it will be coming in, which will probably be of the most interest to a lot of people, will be buff gears dropping if this occurs and appears to be. Now, again, it's not open in the game right now. I didn't want to go to a prior 
Fryer server. So before we even start, there's a great resource out there if you're not using it and you play this game and it's called One Punch Man The Strongest Tips. Been around a long time. It's not focused on global because there are other countries that have been doing this for two years plus. So, but as we're seeing, they're not making any changes of any significance. So anything that has been seen or talked about back then, most likely for implementation purposes is going to be the exact same. So first, if you're not using this resource for something, great place to go, the website, One Punch Man The Strongest um, Tips. I'll put the link in the description. But basically, when it comes to buff gears, okay? Just think about it as adding more gears than you have. You know, you currently have four slots of gears. Uh, you're gonna get three more gear slots of these buff gears. Pretty simple stuff, right? Okay? And there's gonna be three types of them. There's faction, um, type, level, and basically the allegiance of the unit, hero, martial artist, monster, outlaw. Again, it's all going to be based off how it falls under and you're, and you're going to focus on the strengths and weaknesses of the type of character and, and the gears that you're using. It is pretty straightforward and if you want to read some information in advance, like I said, go to One Punch Man The Strongest Tips, links in the description, they can give you a lot of info. Because it's not open in the game and we don't have a confirmation that there's no changes with global, um, again, take this all with a grain of salt, but most likely the changes won't be any different. And this will be kind of what it looks like. You're gonna see your three slots and you're gonna place these in there. And again, you're gonna be able to get these in nightmare mode, which will open up now, which we'll talk about in a second. But these gears really do a lot more. They have augmentations, as you can see. You know, for instance, reflect augmentation. When you have reflect buff on your unit, reflect an additional 8 to 48% attack damage. I mean, that's pretty impressive. For instance, crit augmentation deals additional damage equal to 10 to 60% of the increase in damage from dealing a critical hit. Again, these are basically, like they say, buff gears. So they are way better than our prior gears and they go on top of all that. You know, internal injury augmentation, similar to burn, internal injury damage will splash to surrounding units for five to 30% of internal injury damage. Pretty darn good stuff. And again, you get these from farming the nightmare mode, which will now open up where the other gear mode is at. So, and you'll gain both gears. So you can get the buff gears and you'll still get the old gears so you're not missing out if you're still looking to improve your older gears also. And there's reversing that's available to them, which I'm not gonna get into right now because once this drops and we get the confirmation is part of this, I'll do a very in-depth discussion in particular once global gets it and we know there's no alterations or changes and basically in the end it's pretty straightforward damage dealers you want the buff gears for attack in most circumstances why because they're your damage dealers pretty clear stuff um it does go on to say that usually defense percent gears you never use them, so they're safe to dismantle. I would say early on, I wouldn't be dismantling anything at first until you bring in a good library of these gears to choose from. And then once you get to a point where you're comfortable, where your main units are properly equipped or equipped to somewhere where you start not using gears, such as ones with the defense percentage, then you can safely go ahead and dismantle them. And some of the other tips are really straightforward, just like I talked about. I mean, you're gonna focus on your main teams first, period, end of story. That's where you start, like with anything in any game you play. But in the end, what this is gonna really do 
is make vitality even more absolutely crucial in this game because now you are going to be stuck fighting with doing your nightmare modes on on equipments and buff gears and then you're going to be wanting to do your talents so more than ever Vitality was already a precious resource in the game. It's going to become even more precious in the end. But that's really it. And here was the initial post before they edited it, showing that on the 23rd, we were going to get this new version 2.23. It will actually be on the 28th. So we will see that in our next event of the week, unless there's some sort of delay. Let me know your thoughts. Are you happy to see that we're getting another arena mode? Are you happy that we're getting the buff gears? Do you think they're going too fast at this point in this game? And then the big question is, who's our next banner character? You know what I think if you watched my, my video when I talked about RMG. We will see because we should be finding out here pretty quickly. They usually give us hints at the end of the month. Fingers crossed we'll find out. Maybe because February is a short month, we won't have a new banner till not the week of the 28th, but the week after. But either way, we know it's coming. With that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. Take care.